Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple set of shelves in my garage with a little extra lighting to help me see whatever I need to get. Let's begin. Down here in my basement, in between my two garage doors, I have an open area, a little open wall over here, but it also has a water pipe that runs right down the middle that I've come close to busting already. So, I'm going to not only build a structure around this water pipe, but I also want to build some storage shelves so we can put some of our stuff. Now to create the back supports for the shelves, I really don't want to have to do a bunch of rewiring. And if you look here, I have light switch, I have outlets, and all this wiring, including across the ceiling here, is just in the way. So to keep this really simple, there is wood supports on either side of the garage doors. And so that I'm going to just tie in some 2x4s right behind this pipe. And we're going to screw those into place that will support the back and limit me from having to do a bunch of rewiring. 40.5. Now to attach these to the wood, I decided to go with pocket screws, mainly because it'll be easy to apply them, and also easy in case I ever have to take these shelves back down. Now that we have these back pieces secured in place, I'm going to take some additional boards, and we're going to stretch them straight out. Then I'm going to do some outside supports here, and we're going to go from there. Now, as you see here, I've moved these slightly inset. A couple of reasons. One, I want to avoid this outlet and the switch. And two, I want to make it a little bit less likely when you're coming around a corner that you'd probably run into it. So, you can always make these a little bit wider if you choose, if that's how your garage door is. But in my case, I want to make it narrow. Now, there's two ways you can go from here. One, you can take a piece of wood and go across here and complete the rectangle and then build up the sides. Or you can build up the sides and then complete the rectangle. I'm going to go with the rectangle first. Sometimes holding these together in a corner and screwing them together can be quite difficult, but if you take a clamp and you can clamp it from the top and the bottom, at least you know it will minimize some of that lift and movement. Now I bought these screw these legs in place and I decided not to go above the top of the shelves with them. If you need some extra security and maybe just some rigidity, you can always go all the way to the ceiling. I decided not just to make it a little bit of a cleaner look, plus I'm going to be adding a bunch of screws to the actual shelving in the front and the back and the sides, which will give it extra strength anyway. Now that I have the framework in place and secure, I'm going to put the shelves in. I need to measure this out, and then I'm going to cut it and slide it in, and just be careful of this pipe. Once I have it almost in place, I'm going to find out the exact area where this pipe is going to be going through, and then use a jigsaw to cut that out. And for the shelving, I'm using half inch MDF. Now that we have all the shelves in place and screwed down, I want to create a little barrier, a little border that goes around this pipe. And I'm going to do that using some one by material I got off an old crate. Now that we got one in place, it seems like it's going to work pretty good. Three more to go. On this bottom protector, I decided to leave it open on the front so I could have access to this on-off valve. Now that these shelves are basically complete, one other thing I do have to be concerned about is lighting. Now in this part of the garage, it's actually really dark. And I'm going to show you an example here as we turn off the camera lights. So we're going to hook up some LEDs to make it much brighter. To light up these shelves a little bit better, we've been playing around with some RGB LED tape. This should light up those shelves and make it nice and visible to anything we might have on it. To attach the LEDs up under the shelves, I need a 45 degree angle. And to do that, I have a piece that's already been pre-cut that I have from a previous project that I've just trimmed down to the size. And the LEDs are going to fit on this flat spot. These will go up in the corner and it'll be roughly a 45 degree angle shooting down onto the shelf. There's a bunch of ways you could attach these to the underside of the shelves. I'm just going to use a Brad Neller.
Now the LED strip I use has an adhesive backing, but I've been told over time it can come loose. So I used a little bit of hot glue in some strategic places all along the strip just to make sure it would not fall. Now one of the difficulties I'm having with this build is overhead lighting. As you can see right over here, I have a bunch of wiring that runs across the ceiling and directly over my head part of my HVAC unit. So I'm going to have to strategically wire this up and build a little offset so that I can add LEDs. Now to get this to work, I just used some scrap wood and made some spacers that dropped it down a little bit from the ceiling. Now to attach to those drop down pieces, I'm going to be using this piece of wood here which was originally a 2x4 that I had ripped down for a previous project. Now I'm just going to cut these to length, cut a little 45 degree angle on the sides, and then attach them. Now that we have everything built and lights up, it's time to paint. Now to protect the LEDs while we paint it, we're just going to take some tape and just carefully put it directly over them. Since I used MDF on top of the shelves, I need a special primer that won't harm it and cause any kind of malfunctions or discolorations. So I'm going to use the Kilns Primer Paint, it's a latex paint that should work well with this. A little tip when you're trying to get all the wiring to stay out of sight, you can use a hot glue gun, especially if you're just doing it in a garage because it's not going to be that big a deal. And the great thing about it is later, if you need to move everything, just carefully peel it off. One thing about using LEDs is if you're using this version, it comes with a large remote control. And I'm in the garage, there's a good chance I'm going to lose this or mix it in with whatever I'm putting on the shelf. So I'm going to take some command hooks, I put it on the back, and I'm going to stick it right here. All right, now for the big reveal. Oh yeah, I think that's going to work out great. The great thing about using this type of LEDs, RGB, is you can change it to a bunch of different kind of settings, especially with this remote and the controller, go from a flash to a fade or whatever you might want to use in your situation. Anyway, it's a great idea to light up any of your shelves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out some of these others right over here. Otherwise, have fun building. Today, I'm showing you how about a simple set. Ow! Or, 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 or. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm a little bit tired.